Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Vera from Dubai office. Welcome to the Metaverse Post Launch Global Webinar. I'm super happy to have you join us for this exciting webinar. Today marks the new beginning of a new era in virtual trading games. And we are honored to share it with you. Steph. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and good night to our dear leaders from all around the world. Thank you for being here with us today. Your support and participation are what make Metaverse truly special. So enjoy the webinar and let's make stars. So first, Welcome to our special Raj. Hello. Thank you so much, Vera. Thank you so much, Steph. Well, a very, very good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning to all our super powerful leaders. Firstly, many, many congratulations to each one of you because we have our Metaversey with us. Finally! Yes, this definitely does deserve a huge round of applause and a big, big, huge congratulations because Metaversey was something more or less most of us were looking Recording forward in progress. to. And Metaversey is here with us. It's launched yesterday. And the best thing what happened right after the launch. More than a million members logged in and the website was like, hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm not going to say much on the technical aspects, but that's how I look at it. And many, many congratulations once again, dear leaders, for having Metaversey onboarded. Today is a special day because we are having the post-launch call. The reason why we are doing this call today is because yesterday was one of the closings of the Power of Five. But later in the evening, what we did, we started the round two of Power of Five, which means the first round of Power of Five that ended yesterday, everyone who have done their Power of Five will be receiving their gift code with BP absolutely free by today in their back offices. And gradually, we have come up with the second chance or the second round of the Power of Five, which is again valid for all members, new members, existing members, old members, everyone. And it works exactly on the same terms, in the same way as it did. So please make sure that you focus on the power of five if in case you have missed the first round. This is a second opportunity to you and these kind of opportunities are very rare and this has come to you. However, now the focus is all about Metaversey. We are here today to talk on Metaversey and I'm not going to take much of a time because we are very humbled to have the person himself, whom we call the man of wiseness, the man of wisdom, the person whom we refer to in the office. Hey, Mr. Metaversey, how are you? Yes, he is the guy. He's the brain behind Metaversey. He is the soul, the heart, the veins, the pulse of Metaversey. The best thing about this gentleman is he takes instant and important feedbacks from the leaders. He has been making his vision, his dream baby, his dream child of Metaversey possible and successful due to the constant interactions he's had with the network. And dear leaders, without much of ado, if in case your team has not joined, please make sure you ask them to join in right now because they will be hearing in a moment from Mr. Metaversey. We are also recording this call, but recordings will not be sent to everyone, but only be sent to people who have genuinely missed due to some reason. Live call has its own importance because you get the first-hand information. All right. So now, without much of ado, let's say, let's hear, let's talk, let's welcome 
the man of the hour, Mr. Metaversi. Please put your hands together for Mr. Robin Yolanda. Hello, hello. Thank you, Raj, for that fantastic introduction. <laughs> right, One so way, Metaverse. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Metaversey has finally launched. I hope that you all are as excited as I am. Raj touched briefly on, on some of the, the technical difficulties we have seen in the, the last few days. Uh, I, I can say that the last few days have been the, the most uh, intense uh, for, for a very long time. But I am I'm happy to say that we have the situation under control. We have seen a massive interest uh, in the game, uh, which we have now uh, been able to account for when it comes to upscaling our servers and capacity. So I now believe that everything should be a lot more stable. Uh, right, with that said, I have put together this presentation. This presentation is quite uh, information heavy. There are a lot of important elements to go through. We're gonna talk a little bit about how the virtual commercial will work, what you can expect. We're going to talk a little bit about game cards, how they are used. Uh, we're going to go through some, some other aspects of the game as well. So please uh, listen carefully. And of course, if you have any questions regarding any of the elements, uh, please reach out to the network team, and I'll make sure that we can get a proper response to you guys. OK, next slide, please. Right, we're going to start with the virtual conversion, one of the more important aspects of this launch. So as you all know that in the packages that you might have bought, you have all received virtual options. Now, these virtual options, what will, what will happen to them? Yeah, so on Metaversy, we will take all of your virtual options, and depending on the package that you have, we will convert them into shares on the Metaverse Stock Exchange. So all the virtual options will be assigned a specific grade, and then they will be converted uh, based on your confirmation. The, the shares that you receive will be randomly, randomly distributed uh, per the, each grade, uh, and you will get your shares added to your portfolio immediately. So when you log into Metaverse, you will first be greeted by a terms and conditions. Uh, this can be important to read through, but it's also important for us that you accept these terms. After that, you will come to the virtual conversion flow. And here you will be able to have a good overview of exactly how all of your virtual options will be converted. Here is also a place where you can confirm that you have the right amount of virtual options. I have uh, yet to hear that anyone has any had any issues with this. Uh, so I believe that it should be 100%. This overview will give you a, a breakdown of exactly how the shares will be distributed per grade based on the package that you have. Once you have checked everything and you have confirmed that it uh, looks okay, you will have a, be able to a, click a button that will allow you to convert your virtual options to shares and you will see immediately which companies you have received your shares in. These shares are then also immediately added to your portfolio in the game. So you can go in and you can start selling your shares if you want, or you can keep them as they are. Next slide, please. So according to the packages, uh, the Metaverse packages, you will have received virtual options, but you will also have received a grade distribution. So in these slides, we're just going to go over very quickly, but this breaks it down to how you can expect your virtual options to be converted based on a package. So you look at the amount of virtuals you have. In this example, it's 1,000 virtual options. And you can see the percentages under each letter. These letters represent the grades of the companies. So in this case, for a startup, the user will receive 60% of their virtual options as D-grade shares, 33% as C, 
and 7% as B. Now, if uh, the network team would just uh, uh, go through the next uh, three slides, uh, we can just quickly show, here you can see the difference between different packages where the scale up gets A uh, shares, Powerhouse gets up to triple A, and then finally Unicorn is the only package that also gets shares in the S grade. So all of this will be visible for you on the site when you log into the game, if you haven't already done it. OK, next slide, please. The next important thing is that together with this launch, we have finally launched game packs and game cards again. So on Metaverse, we have a new section. It's a new tab called Inventory. In this inventory, you can find all of the game packs that you have received either through your Metaverse package or through the game pack uh, sales we did last year. Since we launched this game the first time in March 2023, we have done a lot of redesigns of the card system. Uh, in essence, to make it much more in line, much more intuitive and much more powerful. We want it to play a better role in this game. So. Due to this massive refactoring of the system, uh, I have to specify that the cards that you previously uh, earned by opening game packs was removed. However, all of the game packs that you uh, have gotten have been returned to you, so you did not lose any value. What you can go and do now is that you can go in to the inventory and you can open the game packs and to get new cards. And I have made it so that the game packs that you open today, they have a better chance of finding higher rarity cards. And this only applies for the game packs that you have earned through your packages. This will not apply for future game packs. Right, next slide, please. So what are game cards? How will they work? The game cards that you get from game packs they are items that you can play to gain you temporary benefits or items. In Metaverse, you will have access to a certain amount of game card slots. What this means is that in these slots, you can activate a set amount of cards at the same time. The number of slots that you get will be able to be increased over time as you reach higher levels. And the, the cards that are active, they are active for the full duration. Uh, uh, so for most of the cards right now, that will be for 24 hours. So for 24 hours, you, you will get this benefit. It's worth noting that once a game card has been activated and the duration has expired, the game card will be completely removed from the game. So this is a, some a sort of consumable. So it's important that you utilize these cards at the right moment uh, with the right strategy in mind. Now, there are two different types of game cards that you can earn. One of them we call a timed reward. What is a timed reward? Well, basically, it means that you activate the card and that after the duration has expired, you will receive something. So in this example I put in, you can receive a game pack after 24 hours. So you activate the game pack, and then after 20, oh, sorry, the game card, and after 24 hours, you will receive a game pack. Pretty nice. The second type of card we call the immediate boost. So this is a card that when you activate it, it will give you the benefit immediately, and then it applies for that entire duration. So for example, trading fee is a fee that is applied when you, you do trades, specifically when you sell shares. We have a card that will allow you to lower this uh, trading fee so you don't lose out as much on your trading. I suggest that you go in and you take a look at all of the cards and try to understand what the different functionalities are. Uh, we will probably go out with a, a some sort of a document entailing exactly what all of the cards do. Uh, I am also working on, on uh, a sort of uh, a game guide that will go through and explain all of this in text. And then after that, we'll, we'll do some videos as well to really make it simple. But the idea is that we were trying to make everything quite 
simple so that uh, everyone can follow and without having to, to re read through or study to, to understand the systems. Right, now, we have a new functionality in Metaverse that we call the trading limit. The trading limit uh, we have not had in, in the, the previous playtesting, so it's a completely new uh, uh, feature. Uh, basically, what this does is that it, it will limit the, the amount of shares a player can purchase in each, each day. So when you have purchased a set amount of shares, uh, in the base limit is at 5,000, then you will not be able to purchase any more shares. Uh, however, you can sell as many shares as you want throughout the day. Uh, this limit, as I said, will start at 5,000. But it is also a limit that you will be able to increase as your level increases and by playing certain game cards. So this is a limit where we, we try to add a little bit more balance into the game so that we have a, a stronger balance between the, the top players and, and, and the players that are be a bit more casual. So for some users, this limit will be very low. And for some other users, it will be very high. However, we are now testing this, and as Raj specified earlier, uh, we build this game based on a lot of feedback. So uh, I would like for you to go in and test it, and if you think it's too low, you, you cannot really do the things that you want to do each day, then let us know, and we will look at maybe increasing it or finding other ways for you to increase it. So uh, it's something that we're testing, and we're, we're going to see what the, the reactions are. Okay, so <clears throat> the play to earn model. We're gonna talk a little bit about the, the functionality. Uh, however, we will go out with a lot more information at a later stage. So in Metaverse, the play to earn model will be split into different sessions. Now each session will run for a full month. So the first of the month until the last of the month. During this uh, period or this session, uh, you will be able to move your position on the leaderboard. So if your portfolio grows, you will climb on the leaderboard and get a better position. At the end of the each month, we will take a snapshot. We will record the position of a, uh, every player on the leaderboard. And then we will define, based on your position, you will be able to receive different prices. So obviously, if you rank very high, you will be able to receive better prices than if you're a bit lower. So this is the play to earn model. This is the, the, the monthly competitions uh, where we measure the best traders of Metaverse. To participate in each session, you will have to show a certain level of activity. And this activity will include could be make a set amount of trades. It will not be a massive requirement, but you will have to be active during that session to be able to claim a price. Now, the first session, it has already started. So we are now looking at the leaderboard and starting from 11th June, uh, which was on, on Tuesday, uh, the first session is now in play, which means that uh, at the end of this month, we will determine the first winners of Metaverse, and they will receive prizes based on how well they did. So it will run between 11th and 30th June. On 30th June will be the final day. And the, the requirement to qualify for this first session is very simple. You only need to go in and make sure you do at least one trade. So that means either purchasing one share or selling one share. Uh, you do that, you have qualified for the leaderboard, and you will receive a prize. Uh, in a couple of weeks' time, we will go out with even more information, detailing a little bit more about how the, the prices look, what positions will receive what prices, etc. Where, because the, where is the, the limit for receiving tokens? So you, you sort of know where, what position do you, do you want to aim at or end up at. Okay. Do we have another slide? No. So I want to take uh, this opportunity as well to sort of talk a little bit about Metaverse and the future of Metaverse. We have now finally reached a new chapter with Metaverse. We have left the, the pre-launch phase 
Now we're into the launch phase. The game is active. We are running the game and we are super excited to see where this goes. Now, with this launch, I and the tech team have had to scale down uh, a few features. Uh, it's safe to say that we have so many more things that we want to implement into this game. I think Metaverse has a fantastic future and we will continue working on it for a very, very long time. I hope I've made it clear uh, that we listen to all of the feedback we have received. And I have to say, I am very impressed of the, the quality of the feedback that we have received. Uh, I, I am very, very, very humbled by, by the dedication uh, you players have shown Metaverse. Uh, but with that said, please continue sending us feedback about anything in the game. If it's a design feature, if it's a gameplay feature, if it's balance, we will listen to it and we will try to implement it as quickly as possible. I have a long list of feedback already received. And now with the launch uh, cleared and with the stability of the platform a lot stronger, we will start working through all of these things and start implementing and improving the game based on the user's perspective. Uh, because this game is not something that we sit and do on our own, and it's not only our game, it's also our player's game. So please continue sending feedback. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. We have a lot of functionality that we want to implement into this game that we believe uh, can be very, very interesting for you. That includes looking into improving the play-to-earn model, giving you guys even more opportunity to earn uh, tokens and, and other uh, valuable things in this game. So that is one of the areas where we will continuously uh, work. Uh, we will start to experiment a lot more with game cards and how that do. We want to implement a, a specific status for everyone who, who purchased the pre-launch packages, the, the startup, scale-up, powerhouse, and unicorn, and continue to give you values of that. We have the advisor system that I can, can be quite interesting. However, it's also important to note that we are not going to become a game that just adds more complexity and more complexity and more complexity. We want to stay true to the essence of keeping something that is very clean, something that is easy to understand and easy to play, and uh, not create something that is this complex beast that will be very, very hard for you guys to onboard new players into at a later stage. So that is where our focuses lie right now. I hope to be able to uh, deliver some sort of a roadmap so that you can also understand all of the things that we're doing. And we will also be continuing with the play testing. So when we have a new major system that we want to launch, we will invite a few key people that can come in and play test it and give us their direct feedback on how this system works, if it's too complex, if it's unnecessary, or if we have made some sort of a blunder with it. Uh, so please look out for that. We will, uh, we will be looking into the, the, the top players, uh, the top dedicated players to help us out with that. Right. With that said, uh, it's a lot of information. I, I hope everyone followed along well. Uh, if not, again, please reach out to the network team. Uh, I think Raj also have gathered some feedback from all of the members or uh, from some of the members. So uh, I think that let's go through a few of the questions that you have and I'll see if I can give you a, a good answer. Thank you so much, Robin. Well, firstly, we do have quite a few questions coming on the Q&A panel, but <laughs> I, I, I see one question which is coming from one of the leader asking, what is the final launching date of Metaverse? <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, there's a beautiful saying in my country that, you know, you've uh, read the entire story and then you're asking who was the main character of the story. Well, the Metaverse is already launched, like we discussed throughout this call. And yes, it's it's amazing. It's splendid. Uh, we'll take on to the next question. It's just a problem. I'm not able to hear the sound. Can you please put up the sound, Vera? Perfect. Thank you. All right. The next question, Robin, comes in. 
I have more than 9,000 virtuals that I can't find anywhere. Please advise what I need to do. Yes. So I have been testing. Uh, well, let's start with We have, have had some technical difficulties that have uh, prevented certain users from, from logging into Metaverse. I believe that the issue looks to be resolved as I have been testing myself. Uh, so please, uh, Imorgen, please uh, try again. Now, if you log into Metaverse and you go to the page called Virtuals and you don't see your Virtuals, simply log out and log in again. And that should fetch all of the Virtuals. Uh, it is a known uh, bug in the system. All you have to do is log out and then log in again, and it should show you there on the Virtuals uh, page when you log in. So uh, please do that. and. Uh, uh, you should be able to find your virtuals. All right, that sounds uh, pretty good. Thank you, Robin. Uh, second question, I believe there are a few specific uh, messages I've received from uh, a few of our top leaders, and that I believe needs to be looked into specifically, and I'll share that over to you. We move on to the next question on the Q&A panel. Can we have the slide to study so as to understand the game or is there a game rule book that helps us and the new people understand more? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, I'll leave the responsibility of, of sharing the, the presentation to the network team. Uh, th that's completely fine to share. Uh, I am also working on a game book or a, a, a guide, a play guide, uh, that will in deeper detail go through everything with Metaverse. So uh, stay tuned for that. I am working on it. Um, and uh, it will hopefully be launched uh, early next week sometime. And okay. on that note, I can also answer uh, Leader P. James. We need a video demo. Yes. So my idea is that we will launch the, the play guide uh, as a first step. And then after that, we will launch video uh, demos to show how you do the different aspects in the Metaverse game. So it's on our to-do list. Right now, we are completely occupied with the launch and making sure everything is running smoothly, that everyone is receiving their correct amount of virtuals, etc., and that people can play the game. Uh, but this is something we have on our to-do list, and uh, we will deliver this, hopefully, in, in a short time span. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Robin. Another question from Dream Team. Will there be any Zooms or video tutorials on how to use and maximize the system? It will be good to see one of the developers showing live exactly how to do trades. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good we question. Can, uh, but, yeah. Very good question. Uh, we can probably... That should not be an issue. Uh, uh, stop. However, uh, our developers are now <laughs> very, very busy with the site and the launch. Uh, so let's look at that in, in the next coming weeks. But we can do a, a run through of the different aspects of what you do, how you do things in Metaverse. And we can talk a little bit about strategy and what you should think about. There are some interesting aspects with the game cards on how you should use them and leverage them to get the, the most uh, value out of them. Perfect. Thank you, Robin. One question from one of our crypto enthusiasts. Uh, amazing guy, amazing leader, Yusuf, writes that, hey, can the shares chart be presented in the form of candlestick instead of line graph? If it's a line graph, can we know what's the purpose of line graph and not a candlestick? I think that's a very crypto uh, <laughs> boost. <laughs> Yes, that is a good question. I know that we have uh, a list of improvements to do on the short. Uh, one of them is to reduce the, the the time filtering. So instead of just for a day, we'll keep it on one minute or 10 minutes and stuff like that. Uh, I think in the same time as we look into improving this, uh, we're also going to look into uh, candlesticks. It's funny because initially candlesticks were something that we wanted to, to build in uh, way back when we started developing this. 
uh, we just never got around to it. So uh, thanks for bringing that up again. And uh, we'll definitely take that with us and, and see what we can do. Perfect. Next question from Balban. Game one, Balban asks... Can we know when we can start getting the payouts, like converting meta bucks to C1 tokens and much more? Yes. So, as I went through in the presentation, uh, the Metaverse play to earn model will be split into sessions. So, the way it works is that we, we play for one session, for one full session. And at the end of that session, that is when we determine which users get which prices. So it will be at that time. Now, in real-time scales, that means end of June will be the first payout. Oh, that's nice. So end of June would be the first payout. That's that's interesting. That Exactly. That so that is the first. And then at the end of every month going forward, we will do the, the uh, payout or a, a price uh, payout, so to speak. That's amazing. So uh, there's another question coming from Khan. Uh, Khan Sahab has asked how we can make USD or C1 token with the Metaverse. Very good question. So uh, initially, uh, Metaverse will try to utilize C1 token as much as possible. Uh, we have a firm belief that the more power and the more usability we can give the C1 token, uh, the stronger the C1 token will become. Uh, in, in that sense, I mean, if we have new players coming in that want to purchase C1 token to play the game or to purchase things within Metaverse, it will create a lot of uh, demand, which will uh, hopefully then uh, affect the price. So initially, Metaverse will run on the C1 token. We will utilize the C1 token as one of the prices in the leaderboard. Sounds like a plan, and that answers a lot of questions on the Q&A panel here as well. Robin, one question coming up from George, George Ipan, and uh, it's relevant to quite a lot of people. I know you've answered this, but it'll be great if we can take this question again. My game cards are not there under inventory. What should I do? So, uh, on the inventory page... You have uh, three tabs. One of them is inactive game cards, one of them is active game cards, and one of them is game packs. What you do is you go to game pack and you start opening your game packs. And that's when you will receive your game cards. Okay, perfect. Sounds like a plan. And uh, it also says under the inventory, under maintenance, what do I do with that? Oh. So on the, if it's under maintenance currently, that means that we have temporarily disabled that view and we will put it back uh, as soon as possible. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I believe with the stability we have seen today uh, in this afternoon in, in, here in Sweden, that we should probably be able to enable it uh, quite soon. Great. Uh, I'll just take the last two questions, Robin. I know we are running a little behind the schedule. All right. The question is for my fantastic uh, networker who says, what kind of a price payout do I get if I'm on the leaderboard? Is it in the form of a fiat or a crypto token? So, uh, yes, it's worth noting that uh, since we have so many players uh, on the metaverse, and most of them will rank on the leaderboard. Uh, this means that not everyone will be able to receive tokens as a prize. However, we will still give out prizes to everyone who participates in the leaderboard. So if you rank uh, low on the leaderboard, you will be able to receive game packs and game cards, things that you can utilize to gain even more positions at a later stage. And if you rank higher, that is when you reach the token territory, and that's when you will start receive, be able to receive your prices as tokens. All right. That sounds interesting. Okay. Another one. Like I said, it was 
last one from my end and then i believe vera has one more <laughs> <laughs> so robin the question is would metaverse be applicable or in use for the c1 wallet if we have the c1 wallet would there be any use of metaverse into c1 wallets yes that, that, that is the idea, idea. we we want to uh, to implement the c1 wallet on metaverse so that you can utilize it in metaverse perfect i do am now receiving a lot of questions but i'm sure we do have uh, next more few sessions next week uh, i would personally recommend our leaders to start playing the game start seeing how it is uh, i know there was two phases of play testing done if that two play testing done is not happening or you have not done it and perhaps you're missing out on the league my humble request would be for you to go ahead make the most of it and uh, that's going to be super important in any cases of any technical support that you would need if you are unable to see certain virtuals or something that you are unable to figure it out do not worry we have the support team here the support uh, please raise the support ticket uh, and of course we are there to assist and help you uh vera from you now thank you so much raj First, hi Robin! Congratulations on Metaverse official launch. I'm so happy and proud of the players. I enjoy playing, and of course, I earned some uh, Metaverse already. <laughs> yeah, and this yeah. question was raised by one leader. She was previous asking me, should she that convert the virtual first, or she can directly use the Metaverse automatic credit to her account? And then purchase the the stock or convert it their virtual first and then starting the trading and buying and selling. Thank you. Yes. So uh, on that topic, I, I've read some other uh, questions uh, as well. Uh, so uh, it's good to clear this up. Uh, what we have done is that we have given every player uh, on Metaverse one hundred MetaBucks. Uh, and that is just the baseline. This is what every player gets. Okay, so if you have a package or you don't have a package, you will all have one hundred metabucks. Now, we also have the virtual conversions, and the virtual conversion is how you will convert the value, the, what you have purchased in the packages, uh, into shares in Metaverse. So when you log in, and I, I. I advise most of you that has had some or faced some technical issues earlier to try and log in again. Uh, you should be prompted to go to the virtuals. It is best if you, in this uh, situation, are able to log in from a computer uh, to do the conversion. So what will happen is that you go in to Metaverse, you log in, and you will be prompted with a terms and condition to accept which will then take you to the virtuals conversion. And here is where you convert your virtuals. Uh, once you have done that, all of your shares that you receive from the virtual conversions are added to your portfolio. So if you haven't converted, your portfolio will look quite empty because we were not converting it until you confirm that this is uh, that you are happy with what you're seeing. So go in and convert, and that is when the share are added to your portfolio. Now, when they are in your portfolio, you can start selling them to get Metabucks if you want, or you can keep them as they are. Thank you so much, Robin. It's really helpful because I, I have done the same as you said previously. So it was a really good strategy. And it, I think that it would help a lot of the leaders which haven't converted their virtual yet. And I am sure that it's a very useful tip would help them to to make out to entertain more, to earn more in this future virtual trading game. So I'm sure that would be a huge success and a tremendous success. This is just a beautiful, extraordinary beginning of this amazing journey, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me today on this call. I hope that uh, I have been able to, to explain some of the aspects. Uh, we will continue to, to explain and educate. And if you have any questions uh, after this, uh, please contact the network team or your 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 top leader. 
Uh, and we will try to get this information out to, to everyone. Thank you so much, Robin, once again. And I'm so happy and very glad to have you today to organize this beautiful post-launch meeting for Metaverse. And we're so happy and we will look forward to much more progress and much more exciting uh, information updates with Metaverse. And thank you once again, dear leaders. We hope to see you soon. Okay, our dear leaders. So thank you so much for the Robin participate today. And I believe most of the leaders, they have some questions and our Mr. Metaverse already answered all our leaders. So thank you, Robin, and thank you, our all leaders. So we hope to see you next week or more in the future. We will have more webinars for our leaders. So thank you every day. So thank you. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.